Hello friends, this is Aditya and you are watching Electric Vehicles India. Friends, welcome to EV News. In this video, let's discuss some of the latest updates and interesting news from our EV industry. So without any delay, let's dive into the video. Friends, first news is from Hero Motocop. When Hero Motocop launched Hero Vida electric scooters into the market, they launched it in two variants and they are Vida V1 Pro and Vida V1 Plus. And after some time, due to some reasons, they have discontinued the Vida V1 Plus model and recently they have reintroduced this Vida V1 Plus model in India. Now, Vida is available in two variants and they are obviously Vida V1 Pro and Vida V1 Plus. Talking about the differences between both these variants, we don't get to see many differences between them. The only major differences between both these variants are initial pickup and the battery pack. Top end variant Vida V1 Pro gets 3.9 kilowatt hour two portable battery packs whereas Vida V1 Plus gets 3.44 kilowatt hour two portable battery packs. In the Vida V1 Pro company is offering 110 kilometers of real range whereas in Vida V1 Plus we can expect 100 kilometers of real range. So the difference is only 10 kilometers. Looking at the price Vida V1 Pro is now available at 1.45 lakh rupees ex showroom. But if you buy this Vida V1 Pro in the Flipkart, Flipkart is offering 20,000 rupees flat discount on it. So the effective X showroom cost of this Vida V1 Pro in Flipkart is 1.26 lakh rupees. And the X showroom cost of the newly launched variant Vida V1 Plus is 1.15 lakh rupees. So if you ask me which electric scooter to buy, if you are preferring to buy this electric scooter in Flipkart, go for Vida V1 Pro or else you can opt for Vida V1 Plus. Friends, second news is from Ola. In February, Ola has announced some discounts on their electric scooters on the name of Valentine's Day offers. But they have extended those discounts to this March also. Because March 31st is the last date for Fame to subsidy. After March 31st, all the electric vehicles prices are going to hike. So most of the companies are planning to utilize this March month to do more number of sales as possible. Looking at the discounts, Ola S1 X Plus electric scooter is now available at 85,000 itself. Ola S1 A is now available at 1.05 lakhs. Ola S1 Pro Gen 2 is now available at 1.3 lakh rupees. These are ex showroom prices, and these prices will be effective till March 31st. After March 31st, all the electric scooter prices will go up. So, if anyone of you planning to buy an electric bike, electric car, or electric scooter, please try to buy it till March 31st itself. Friends, next news is from Aether. The upcoming electric scooter from Aether is Aether Rista. And we all know that this is a family-oriented electric scooter. The seat of this electric scooter is going to be very lengthy. So the launch date of this Aether Rista electric scooter has been announced. So this Aether Rista family-oriented electric scooter is going to launch on April 6th. So on April 6th, we'll get to know the all details about this Aether Rista. So let's wait till April 6th to get more details about this. Friends, next news is from Ola. As currently we have Chat GPT from OpenAI and Gemini AI from Google, Aether also invented a AI called Krutrim. So like this, Ola has also launched a AI called Krutrim. Ola has recently launched this Krutrim into the market and one of the user has asked this Krutrim about which is the best electric scooter in India. As to his surprise, this Krutrim has reported Aether 450X is the best electric scooter in India. So this news is trending in Twitter now and Aether CEO Mr. Thawun Mehta has also taken advantage of this Krutrim as it's working very absolutely as it gave Aether 450X as best electric scooter in India. So what's your comment on this and as per you which is the best electric scooter in India please let me know in the comments. Friends, next news is from Talk Motors. Currently, Talk offers Talk Kratos R electric bike in India. And now they have announced a 35,500 rupees discount on their electric bike. Previously, this Talk Kratos R electric bike used to available at an ex showroom cost of 1.87 lakh rupees. Now, the ex showroom cost of this Talk Kratos R is 1.5 lakh rupees. This discount is valid only till March 31st. So, if anyone of you planning to buy this Talk Kratos R electric bike, please try to book it before March 31st. Friends, next news is from MG. As we all know that MG offers an electric car called MG Comet EV and it doesn't support fast charging. Now, MG has introduced a new variant in this MG Comet EV lineup and they have set up a fast charging support for this model. Previously, this MG Comet EV used to get 3.3 kilowatt AC charger. So, with the help of the charger, this car used to take 7 hours to get it fully charged. Now, MG is giving 7.4 kilowatt AC fast charging support to this. So,
So with the help of the 7.4 kilowatt AC fast charger, this electric car takes just three and a half hours to get it fully charged. So this fast charging supports only two top end variants, and the showroom cost of this top end variants are 8.24 lakh and 9.14 lakh. It's 56,000 expensive compared to the previous top end variants. So along with this fast charging support, this top end variant gets rare disc brakes, electronic parking brake, ESC, hill hold, and other features. Friends, last news is from BYD. BYD launched its third electric car in India and it's called BYD Seal. So they have launched it in three variants. The base variant is called Dynamic. In this Dynamic, BYD is offering 61.44 kilowatt hour battery pack and its base variant has rear wheel drive motor which can produce 201 bhp power. And with the help of the 61.44 kilowatt hour, BYD is offering 510 kilometers of range in it. And the showroom cost of this Dynamic variant is 41 lakh rupees. The second variant is called Premium and BYD is offering 82.56 kilowatt hour blade battery technology in it and this is also a rear wheel motor which can produce 308 bhp power and the claimed range of this premium variant is 650 kilometers and the showroom cost is 45.55 lakhs and the top end variant is called performance as the name suggests this is the performance oriented variant this variant also gets 82.56 kilowatt hour battery pack cms premium variant and this is a all wheel drive motor which can produce 512 bhp of power and the claimed range of this performance variant is 580 kilometers and the showroom cost is 53 lakhs as per byd they have already received 200 bookings on this byd seal and they are offering some benefits to the customers who books this electric car till march 31st so friends these are some of the latest news and interesting updates from our ev industry for this week what's your opinion and what's your thoughts on these updates please let me know in the comments and if you found the video informative please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe electric vehicles india go green go electric